Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. How are you today? I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Brooke, or Baby Sims, whatever you prefer to call me. And if you're not in my channel, then welcome back to another save tour. This is a series where I show off my Sims 4 save and my only save that I've had for six years now and all of the community lots that I have in it. So, today's episode, in the last part, we um, did Windenburg and San Myshino, and before that, we did um, Newcrest, and then the first episode was Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. So, today, we are actually going to do Brindleton Bay and Solani, and I'm skipping over Del Sol because I only have one community lot in there, and same as how we skipped Magnolia Promenade, I'm kind of going to do a bonus video near the end where I show off all the lots that we may have missed in the worlds that I don't have many builds in that aren't enough for, like, a whole video. So, yeah, so we should probably get started, but first I want to have a little <laughs> disclaimer about something because this video may as well be called Lil Simsy Lots that I like because um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of nine of these lots that I'm going to show you in these two worlds today are built by Lil Simsy. Um, but they'll all be in the description anyway, because there is two that aren't, so either way, and you also need the names, so with no further ado, let's get in to showing you guys Brindleton Bay. <laughs> The first lot I am showing off to you guys today is a park in Pendleton Bay and it is called the Pupperstone Park Reno, but I searched that up when I was trying to figure out the name for to write down on my list here. Um, when I, it couldn't, it didn't show up on the gallery when I wrote the Reno part, so I just had to type Pupperstone Park and filter by most popular and Lil Simsy was the first option and it has this park. So this is the regular park that comes with cats and dogs when you get the uh, pack. But, uh, Lil Simsy remade it to make it a little more, more, because the original one just had some dog training stuff, some benches, and, uh, a, like, a barbecue, but Lil Simsy made it more of a full and happier looking park. So, if we just go by zone by zone here, we have a, um, nice little picnic area with some grills and things so you guys can have, your sims can make food and different things, and then over here we have some chess tables. I actually use this park a lot because if I just uh, show you guys, that house right there is my current household family's house, and so we come here all the time, and we have some dog training stuff, and we also have a dog in my current household, so... Um, I might have to get over here and use this because I haven't actually been here with our little puppy Waffle yet. Um, there is a little gazebo as well and it has a nice little dining area as well and another barbecue if you want to just relax in there for a minute. And there's a little garden area with some actual plants that you can, and there's napnip and there's catnip and different things like that. And there's also dog food bowls and cat food bowls all around this lot as well and um then there's a little kids area some monkey bars and a little jungle gym and of course all kinds of dog training stuff and even some benches for your parents to sit and watch the kids and some public bathrooms so you don't need to run away but there actually is one here because there is like a secondary park next to this it's one of those places um that each kind of neighborhood has where you can walk to it's like open world you can make get a drink and whatever in this one there's two bathrooms here because you can just walk to that one and there is a gate here so you can just uh, walk onto that one if that one's full and you can also get a drink over here um, or wherever season is this cart will be here if you have seasons so this cart will be here and you can get food here as well if you don't want to grill anything but this is the Pupperstone Park by Lil Simsy and it is on her gallery. The next lot I'm showing you guys today is one that does not fit into Brendleton Bay but I really wanted this um restaurant down so i put it in here because i had nowhere else to put it but this is the mcdonald's one that is a name and it is by actually two different people um when i searched up on the gallery it said uh, made by this person and then original by this person so the first name is super oh i don't want to butcher it Meek mikey mikey t but it's uh spelled a little different it'll be down in the description and then the original is by davu 84 but i couldn't find their version so either way that is who it is by and this is a mcdonald's so if we just go around here you can see 
um, we'll actually just get out of tab mode and I'll show you guys closer up. So over here we have literal like signs of menus like Real McDonald's has, um, <laughs> Big Mac sauce and just some signs that someone custom made. And then there's also this one as well. And then there is a uh, drive through with cars going through it with more signs and a little um, speaker box. Oh, don't want to move the cars. And then a window as well um and then another window where i'm guessing you pick up your food so it's a uh, order pay pick up food by the looks of it um then there's a little side entrance here and there is some outdoor seating if you want to sit in or outside sorry and you actually walk in you spawn over here because i placed this a lot wrong but and my sims always go through this door but you're supposed to go through over here um and then you come inside and there's a big table that is very dirty because i must have joined in here in the middle of someone eating but um yeah, there's a big table six. I'm pretty sure I put this here, actually, not the creator, because there was no tables for six, and I have big families. So there is a, a table here for your bigger families that I put down. And then if we just take a look here for a minute, we have a cafe bar, the uh, waiter stands, and then um, coffee makers, and then back here is the actual uh, kitchen that two chefs work in, and also we have a makeshift windows and different things as well, which is super cool. I really like that. Um, and then we have all kinds of seating. We have three booths right here, and then we have um, two, and then four, and four. And it is a super, super cool restaurant. We also have back here the um, bathrooms as well. And there actually is a custom menu for this um, this restaurant. So we have all your typical drinks, you know, milk, water, orange juice. And we have all kinds, like every type of tea and coffee. Um, we have sodas, um, lemonade, and protein shakes even. And then for appetizers, there's mac and cheese, applesauce, french fries, of course, because it is McDonald's. And we have granola, oatmeal, bagels, everything. And then the main course, we have a bunch of um, burgers, wraps, chicken nuggets, you know, the uh, things that you get at McDonald's. And there also is some extra stuff, like different things and then there also is a ton of ice cream because you know those mcflurries they hit you know so they had to have them as well um they dress pretty fancy up in this mcdonald's however if you see the outfits here they're pretty fancy in this mcdonald's but this is the mcdonald's one and it is on the gallery it is super cool awesome place to go i actually bring my sims here all the time and it's also really fast service here as well and um, there's no problems with, like, the game. It doesn't glitch or anything, and it's perfectly fine. And at nighttime, it's all lit up, and it looks just as nice as well. So awesome build and um, awesome place to bring your Sims for any time of the day because you know McDonald's got that breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, anything. So you can come here any time of day, and you will have um, something to do here. Looks like they made this roof out of, like, every single roof piece. That is really cool. Wow. Anyway, yeah, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> The next lot I'm showing you guys today is a cafe, and it is called the Doggy Diner, and you guessed it, it is by Lil Simsy. As of the next five builds, I'm going to be showing you her by. Um, I didn't notice I had that much builds by her in my game, but I do, and um, she's just a really talented builder, and she makes a lot of functional gameplay things, so I use them a lot. But this is one of my also, like, favorite places to go to, because not only is this a cafe that your Sims can go to, um, it actually has a lot trait for dog friendly and up and coming hotspot. Um, I don't know why. Oh, I do know why. I actually changed this to be uh, anyway. That that's not supposed to be there. I'm sorry, but anyway, um, animals will actually come in here. It is a cat cafe slash dog cafe, and your Sims will uh, bring their pets here, and pets are allowed. So, oh my gosh, it's been too fast. Anyway, um, you come in, and we have like a little cafe spot, and oh my gosh. There is also like a self-serve bar here too. So you can, if your drink is taking too long, lines too long, make your own. It is fine. And then there's dog treats and a bunch of different things around. And there's also like a little seating area here um, where you can sit and watch TV. And then there's little tables um, over here where you can sit. And then tables four. And then there's a bench and um, bathrooms as well. And upstairs, I think I did this. Um, I added the celebrity door in because I used to have a celebrity sim and it got really, really, really annoying to come to any place where paparazzi would follow you and I just want to hang out here. So I made this like a two-star um, access for celebrities and I, I let my sim go to a cafe and 
um, relax but this isn't supposed to be here there's supposed to be just a regular door here so if you do download this this will be normal it won't be like this i promise um this might not be here though with the cafe machines i'm actually not sure if i put them here or if she did but um either way if you download this the rest of the stuff will be here so there's uh vending machines and there is even a little place for you to sit upstairs if you want a little more privacy and there's tons and tons of outdoor seating as well and just a really cute place to go quite honestly and you're allowed your dog here little sign and it's just a super super cool place to bring your sims and their dog or even dog training stuff here too right so you can come here with anybody and chill i used to bring my sims here um all the time because it's just such a cozy little place to go i used to get my sims to order a drink and they sit here and they're like date or whoever they sit over here or get their morning coffee and watch the news uh it's just really really good for gameplay because it's just a really good place to go with your uh your sims when you want to hang out with them outside the house but do the same things you would do in the house but you also have coffee so i really like this lot and it is the doggy diner by little simsy this next one I'm showing you guys today is, of course, by Lil Simsy again. As I said, the next couple ones are by Lil Simsy. And this build is insane. I've actually never been here with my Sims. I downloaded it um, kind of recently. So, um, yeah, just, just let's just take a minute and look at this for a minute, you know, because this is insane. But this is the Treehouse Kids Park by Lil Simsy. And it is a park and playground so you have let's just go down a floor here because oh sorry not the basement <laughs> um we have a little gazebo with some stuff here um some swings chess boards um a little thing for uh what are they called monkey bars sorry oh my gosh and then we have a fishing park i am not doing well with words today today i oh my gosh not doing well with words today guys i am sorry but um we have a little fishing pond here so you can go fishing bathrooms and then let's go up these little stairs and to this playhouse that is absolutely insane there is a tree stump in it but that is that's i promise that's supposed to be here but um it has a ton of decorations here we have bookshelves a desk a little um toy box doll houses a bunch of things your sims can play with up here so this is just a super super cool lot and i am obsessed with this like, this is insane, and I've actually never been here, but I need to bring my sims here because this is such a cool place to be. Um, I feel like it's more targeted towards kids, but at the same time, you know, your adults can fish, they can play chess. Um, there is a scouts board here as well, so you can get your scouts. Uh, if your child's sim is in scouts, if you have seasons, then they can, oh my god, the trees are everywhere. They can work on their scouts badges while they're here as well. So this is an awesome lot. This is by Lil Simsy again, and it is the Treehouse Kids Park on the gallery. The next one I'm showing you guys today is a, another Lil Simsy build, and it is called the Boathouse Library. And this library is my all-time favorite library I have in my game. I am so obsessed with this library. It is just so, so cute and functional and just really, like, aesthetically pleasing to look at. And it's also very cozy as well. So let's go inside and take a look. So um, you walk in and you have a little piano. So you can hang out there. And there's a little chess table. And over here, there is actually a lot of computers in this build as well. Um, there's bathroom stalls in here. And there's bookshelves everywhere. And you can use the computer and sit and read and then there's more computers and more chess tables and even comfier seating over here with more bookshelves um which i love as well and it's just a super cute down here isn't it like this is just so perfect what i i actually don't use libraries as i feel like i'm saying that wrong library 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 berry library there we go i um i use them a little differently than you think i use them as bookstores instead of like a place you check out a book and read and then put it back and then go home when i come here when i play my game and i use libraries i bring my sim here like for example uh they want more books to read at home i um pretend they're buying the book from here and they can also read it here as well but i use this kind of like a bookstore instead of libraries in my game because I just think it's more functional and cute that way, so. And if you go upstairs, by the way, there is even more computers and um, 
more seating as well and then over here there's a balcony both balconies bottom and top with more chess tables and there's outdoor seating on both the second and first floor so this is super cute library i'm here all the time with my sims um i love it here <laughs> i hang out here a lot when i sims come here um there's not actually any tables for your sims to do actually there it's outside sorry but if it's raining out, you might want to save the homework for when you get home. Because I usually bring my sims sometimes to the library to do their homework and things. And there isn't really actual um, tables where you can do that unless you're in university and you want to use the computers. But if your sim is in high school or they're in elementary, then they're going to have to sit outside. Because it doesn't seem like there's any bare tables. But you can read everywhere else. And uh, you can use the computers as well if you want to, to work on skills or if you're playing a rags to riches. So perfect library there also is a little tower there isn't anything in the tower up here but there is one so <laughs> i really like it here i think it's super 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 cute and yeah that's the boathouse library by lil simsy <laughs> All right, and that was all of the lots that I'm going to show you guys today for Brindleton Bay because um, the other ones I have around that you might have seen when I showed you guys the world view um, are the ones that come with the game. And here we are now in Solani, and you might notice that I have a lot of things placed here. Not one thing in this um, this uh, world is the way it is when you get the game, I don't think. Um, so I have a mansion here. Um, some I made this like a rental zone. Um, cause I use, I only use really Solani. I don't have, I've never had anyone live here and I probably never will. I use this as a rental place. Um, so I have a one bedroom, three bedroom, two bedroom, and four bedroom. So literally any amount of bedrooms you need, you will find a house somewhere along here. <laughs> um, which I really like. I actually use this one a lot. This one's like my honeymoon suite. I have had three honeymoons here at my Sims. Uh, this is like my family vacation home. This is like me and my friends are going on vacation. And then this is, um, I have a big group of us. Um, but yeah, so we have over here as well. We have another house that I downloaded and another one and another one. And then this is the shipwreck. I didn't change it. It still is a shipwreck house. I just uh, downloaded someone else's version instead of EA's. And then I have two more houses up here as well which are super cool. I love them both, all of them. So let's get into the actual community a lot, should we? Because I've been talking a lot. Anyway, so let's get into the first one. The first lot in Solani that I'm showing you guys is another one by Lil Simsy, and it is the Sandbar Reno. And this is like my all-time favorite bar for my Sims to go to, or at least it's in the top um, ones, because I... Um, four nights where my sims are going out with their friends or, um, they're going out to hang out with their friends, like I said to say, like the adults, um, I always get them to stay overnight because if your sims come home at 11, then the kids are going to be awake and it's just, it's unrealistic, right? I usually pretend that they're staying with the grandparents and if you come home, then they're going to be there and it's, you know, that's not what you want. So I get them to rent a house in Solani with their friends whenever they come here for the night, um, so it's easier for them to go to this bar so they can just take a walk back to their um their place that they're staying so i come here all the time with my sims and it is such a chill and such a cool bar to go to so outside let's start with that we have a little seating area here which is super cute and then we actually have a basketball net um if you want to play basketball here and then if we go down we'll go around the deck here so we have some pot of plants more seating chess tables um then we actually have a don't make the llama board out here and where do you walk in you walk in here i'm pretty sure here or here one at the back or the front you have two tables of four we have a jukebox we have little counters with them um, some kava bowls and different things we have the actual bar and then behind here we have this object um there's the back bar and it has some cool stuff we also have a darts board so you can play darts when you're here and you can play foosball um, and not only that, but there is a computer, so you could do that, and there's tons of music around, and there's a seating area over here as well with a TV, so you can do that as well. Um, then there's a bathroom, and that is basically the entire lot. There's not, like, um, it's not, like, a huge million, million things to do, but there is a very good selection, and I usually bring my Sims here, and they're playing super good music, and you get your drink, you dance with your friends, you can sit down and talk to the tables over here, you can play foosball, or drink the llama, or chess, or basketball or um darts you can literally do a lot of things um here if you would like to and there is even a little sitting area over here where you can just relax where is this pot from <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen that 
am i am i missing something am i missing something that is so cool i've actually never seen that before hmm i need to start using that in my builds anyway yeah so super super cute build however if it is raining your sims might get a little wet because there actually is no windows it's uh all open including this um there's literally not even a door to this place so if it's monsoon season in salon you you might want to stay away from this bar because you might you might get a little bit wet you might get a little bit wet here but anyway let's move on to the next one shall we next one i'm showing you guys today is a another little simsy build and this one brings back memories for me not because it is an old build or anything it's actually kind of recent um when my wedding stories came out this was built by her but this has so many memories for me because this is where my um sim cassie her parents jade and adam actually got married here um and i love this this is actually a wedding venue so how about i show you guys that so oh it's actually counted as a beach either way your sims get married at it so um there is a bunch of tables and there's a little stand where you can put the cake but i actually think i put maybe another one no all right either way you can just get rid of that if you want your cake up there for my wedding stories and you can sit and have your food and then i put this here this wasn't here originally neither was okay this is my cake table over here i actually put all this stuff here for my wedding that i had my sims in but um before i guess this was built before my wedding stories because there's no aisle here so your sims would just go up here like they used to <laughs> so you might need to make some modifications if you want to use this as a wedding venue um with my wedding stories but we have lots of seating and then we have a little piano place where your sims can actually sit and um they will i don't know if i added that or not i'm actually starting to think that i added this because it said i needed live music and i don't think it had any besides the speaker so i added this i'm pretty sure the little the little deck part but either way um yeah so in here we have the kitchen where your bakers will make the cakes and things oh no then there i added this room i'm pretty sure uh, I don't know what this was before, but I'm pretty sure I made it. Um, I made it so I could have my sims get married and then have, like, the bride in here so she can have, like, the reveal type of thing. But there actually is still a wedding cake here, surprisingly. Um, there is a bathroom. And then down here is the bar. And it has, well, a, a bar <laughs> in it. And it is right on the ocean. And let me tell you, this, I have beautiful screenshots here because, like, hold on. Let me just show you real quick oh, i have to get out of here hold on afternoon evening morning afternoon evening yeah let's just let's just do that so like sunset look isn't it so beautiful here like this is such a beautiful place for screenshots and at nighttime it is just so pretty and lit up and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous place to be and to get married so i highly recommend really recommend this lot is the beach wedding venue by lil simsy jumping from one beach to another we have another little simsy oh wait i no we're not this is not a little simsy lot this is um the ohani beach reno by did zero mac and this is my favorite lot to go to in the summertime for sims i am here like every three sim days in the summertime um it's the best beach to go to and there's just so much to do here so anyway in fact you can see the uh sand castles that my sims made when they were here we made we made a ton we had a, and also their plate of chicken yeah see i'm that's that's my sim drew woods is my sim anyway let's move on so uh there's some beach towels you can lay on as well under these umbrellas and then i added these two tables here um and there's a fire pit here you make food on that's why i added this table these two tables so i could have my sims eat supper here um that is also my towel i think but <laughs> anywho there actually is a lifeguard chair and i didn't think lifeguards were a thing until one showed up here and was hanging out but anyway uh we also have a swing set and i have some screenshots of my sims um sim kids hanging out here and then over here we have a bar as well with some seating and you can order a drink or make your own drink because they don't actually spawn here since it's not a bar lot but anyway and then up here we have your little suntan relaxing station and my sims always are laying here it is such a pretty pretty place to lay but what i use this beach for is the swimming <laughs> and your sims can swim all around this part here and salani is just so beautiful by the way let's just take a moment to appreciate salani because it is just so pretty but 
yeah, my sims swim all over here, and then I always do beach diving and combing over here. So I love going to this beach for gameplay so much because there's just a lot to do here. And I have literally had my sims come here at like 9 a.m. and leave at like 11 p.m. and not one minute were they bored. There's just so much things to do on this lot. So this is the Ohanali Beach Reno by Did Zero Mac on the gallery. The last lot I am showing you guys today is Captain's Catch by Lil Simsy. It is actually a restaurant in Solani. And every time my Sims visit Solani, I make it a point. I make it a thing to visit this restaurant. In fact, my Sim Cassie found out she was pregnant with Hudson at this restaurant. <laughs> so um, I have some memories at this restaurant. And I know you will too because it's such a cute restaurant to visit anyway so yeah it is the captain's catch by little simsy and let's just take a little exterior look around here so we have a little nice sculpture and then you walk up here and you have your little um station and then you can sit out here if you want and wait <laughs> if it's a little busy and in here there is some um, seeing for two four and there are even is a computer <laughs> and uh there's a bar here as well for the late nights and then there's a the bathroom right here is where my sim found out she was pregnant <laughs> and then the kitchen of course with the um yeah you know the people who cook kitchen people anyway so there's a table of six out here there's a table of two a table of four and then you go down these stairs there's a table for four four and two and this let me tell you is such a good place to sit because you just get like this view and it is amazing i love coming to this restaurant so much and even as live music that plays here sometimes if sims are feeling up for it when they're around um but i actually really love this restaurant and it does have a custom menu but um this is actually wrong the restaurant staff is customized i'm pretty sure because mine um i'll wear pirate outfits <laughs> so i think it's customized as well it's just not gonna show up here but we have lots of alcohol <laughs> and we have root beer floats sodas and then we have coffee and drinks and everything like that uh, appetizers here we have popcorn shrimp a lot of seafood here and bananas but we also have salad chips french fries and the main course we have hot dogs tacos um burgers chicken nuggets and then all kinds of seafood as well and then of course we have a ton of um desserts as well that are awesome and yeah i just really love this restaurant it's super super cool and i am here all the time and it is a good view and it's a good place the service is really good here too this is one of those restaurants that function just so perfectly when you're here because there's just never an issue i didn't know that these three plants came like together i know they come separated but i didn't know they came together too anyway yeah super cool place to visit i am obsessed with this restaurant and you should definitely download it as well if you like it um, if you're in Solani and you want to grab a bite to eat when you're out. So yeah, Captain's Catch by Lil Simsy. All right, everybody. So that is the end of this episode of the Save Tours series. But this is not the last episode of the series because we still have tons of worlds to go. I don't think I have anything um, in Brightchester, so I might save whatever I do have for a bonus video. And then we have these two and... Um, some of some of these as well uh so definitely stay tuned for other uh save tours i will definitely link at the end of this video um the playlist if you'd like to watch the other three that i've done for all of these top row worlds except for this one we're saving that one but um yeah if you want to watch all these one my lots on these ones i have a lot um it is in the playlist it'll be linked at the end of this video but anyway guys that is the end so all the videos all the, the, the all the lots i show off today will be in the description down below with the names of the lots and who created them so you can search them on the gallery and put them in your own games and make your own memories with your sims there and uh yeah so I hope to see you guys in the next video. All of my social medias are down in the description down below if you'd like to talk to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.